Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and Athevius Raccoonus. Now, I'm going to admit, I am horribly sorry about what happened last episode with the whole, uh, um, missing that one bottle. Now, I'm going to explain how I'm going to fix what I just did. As you guys already know, this game, um, when you get certain things, which I haven't got yet, when you've got certain, uh, TV Raccoonus page, you'll get so-and-so's blueprints to the whole operation. Ms. Ruby's blueprint, or anyone's blueprints, really, Ms. Ruby's is the one we're looking for here, will, um, tell us... Looks like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I can unlock the cauldron's lid... I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Anyways, um, like I was saying, I think, I don't know what I was saying. Um, okay, that one level, I missed the one bottle. Well, with the whole blueprints of the operation, I don't know if I've said this in the LP yet. You get a map of where all the of where all the you, can, you open up in Rockycom. I don't have it yet, but a little green circle will appear over where the bottles you've missed are at, and a red one will appear over the breakables. Now, um, that's really useful, especially when you get on this point of the game where you start missing clues. I will go back before I fight Miss Ruby. I promise, guys. Actually, as soon as I get the thing, I will go back. So, uh, this thing is glitchy today. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the way he spelled that, I don't know. It just said, oh my god, and I was like, oh, yeah, you can't say that anymore. That's wrong. Behold, the hardest part of the whole... Actually, I don't think you can make that jump. I really don't. I'm not even going to try. I'll come back if I can. I think you have to go to a higher point of the level and jump down and then redo the whole thing over again. I'm just assuming. You need to break the candles to get across here to this guy. I love when you get close to him. He does his... Look at that. I don't care how ugly that thing is. It's, it's, it's adorable. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I'm sorry for everything I've done. And if you get hit by me, this is a little like basketball animation. No one's really cool too. The, the the animations in this game are hilarious. I'm just gonna make a point saying that they put some really silly things in this game for a uh, for what's attempting to be a serious game. They put a lot of they managed to get a lot of silly stuff into this game. This game this game's kind of a mix of serious and not serious. Like it's only serious when it really needs to be, and then everything else is just fun and kiddish. Honestly, I think it's great for a kid's game. It's the kind of thing kid, kids like to see. And, of course, I'm sure everybody likes to see that in general, but... Now, well, be careful walking on this, because these brown things will... Uh, these, brown, these wood parts will fall down. And, uh... Oh, no, I set off the alarm. What ever will I do? Also, there's a guy in the way. Whatever will I do here, also? Smart. He isn't even getting any guards going. I love that, when they don't hunt as a pack. Some bottles. Some Every LP I do has to have bottles in it. Because, get it, the last LP I did was was Banjo Kazooie and Bottles is a character. And, and, and. That was a joke guys, King. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming thanks for coming to my YouTube channel. That was a joke. The end. Oh god. Uh, that's, that's a uh, John Tron quote, if I'm correct. I don't know. I, I I think I think it's over I think it's I think I've I've heard it multiple times, but let's climb up a this a thing. Talk like a Jaja Binks. Oh god. I was trying to sound like an Italian, but it got kind of offensive, so I was like, I must be Jaja Binks then. I 
Okay, I shouldn't need this anymore. So we're good. Now we're back where we left off. Now, like I was saying, I forgot what I was saying, but I was saying something. I like her voice. It's it's really silly. Why do I imagine Honey Boo Boo's mom being Ms. Ruby the whole time? I love this fast motion thing you can do. God dang it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> forgot I have water safety. And, uh, you have a choice here. You can either run through it and just kill the laser wall thing. But doing that, obviously, will trigger all the other lasers and stuff. And this searchlight's here, and it just hurt you instantly. So it's kind of a... It's, it's a mixed feelings kind of thing in the game there. I mean, it would be a good idea to trigger the laser to get through, because this is kill a thing I hear, but these guys. But then uh, there's a thing, so I don't know. <laughs> right, it was kind of, it would have been worth it. I mean, I could have done it and got away with it. Oh, you a butthole. Fast motion to get rid of that fire. Just do that. I missed two. Oh, I don't know where they're at. They're, in the, they're on the rail. Of course they are. Right there they are. These codes are nothing before my righteous analytical ability. The combination has to be 571. And... These are the blueprints to this Ruby's production facility. I'll pipe this information into your binocucom. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. Yeah, a good level I'm gonna have to do after this. Which actually, it's a pretty easy level, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think it's... Not high class heist, which one is it? I'm gonna do some fast motion, because I don't really care. It doesn't really matter. Oh, this game, I don't know. After playing all the sequels for so long, this game feels a little bit inferior. Now, don't get me wrong, this game is still, like, my favorite game on the PS2. But Sly 2 and Sly 3 have added, to, have, it's just brought so much more to the table. Although I like the, I, I, I don't know, I, I would, I would, I don't know, Sly 4 is coming out soon. And I really don't know if I, w I, w I would appreciate it being a mission-based game or, like, an old Sly 1-style level-based game. I really, I think I'd be happy with either of the two. Because, you know, I think, I think, um, that's not the one I want. I think, uh, I think, though, I think Sucker Punch has really been overusing the whole missions idea. I mean, Sly 2 and 3 used it the whole mission thing. Um, I know uh, Infamous 1 and 2 did it. I don't, I don't really know about Infamous 1. I'm pretty sure it did, though. I wouldn't understand if it didn't. And I don't know what other games they make. But it doesn't matter. I'm making Sly 4 soon. That's all, that's all that really matters. I don't care what Sly 4 is. Sly 4 could be a damn puzzle game for all I didn't care. I'm going to be a smart person. I'm going to land right on this thingy. It has to be right out in the open. There it is! <laughs> right at the end. What do you what do you guys what do you know? Now 
not want to get my blood sucked by that this giant mosquito. Whoa. I should not have done that with the lasers going still. I really shouldn't have. Although fast motion this isn't really a bad, bad with. This isn't really that bad of a level. I really do. I, mean, I think it's the easiest misery be level. Uh, I don't know. I never really realized how cool half the parkour in this game is because it's just kind of an overdone thing. But this game, I don't know. I played all the game, you know, all the other games that used parkour after it. PS2 standards, kids game standards. Um, and this game is felt generic. But if I really think about it, this game was really brought a lot to the table. <laughs> Let's see what that uh, bottle is right there. Here goes none. Now, I saw it like right here. Is this one I think it is? Yep. I knew it. It's that one. It's always that one. I didn't know. I looked at the wrong area to find that one, too. That's why I didn't get it. Okay. I can actually end it right here. What am I saying? Oh, I can't leave it right here. So I gotta go to the, the vault. I can't just grab all the clues and say I'm good. That's easy to enter. <sighs> I don't really see the point behind these codes. I think I stopped using them in Sly 3, but I'm not quite sure. They actually, they used in actually Sly 3 didn't have vaults. Sly 3 was the only one without them. I really don't see a point behind this one, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Super slow mo. I'm running slower than molasses. This is so. This is so ridiculous. I'm sorry. It's, the way he jumps is just really ridiculous, but you don't notice it. It's just really ridiculous looking. Really ridiculous, ridiculous. What was the point? I like got fast motion. I can see it makes you get levels on faster, but slow. I don't know. Feels useless to me. I don't know about you guys. You might find a use for. I, I can see like avoiding things better. Being one of. Oh. That was that was awful. I'm gonna do this level here. The, oh, this one's my favorite. The chicken level. With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob total roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? I'm just gonna ask uh, real fast before I do this. How big of a pot of gumbo are you making if you need 50 chickens killed? That was our suspicion. Also, putting it in fast motion does not speed up the clock. Rolling will not, or does speed up the clock, I mean, does speed up the clock. So, um, and roll, well, rolling on the other hand will slow, well, not slow down, 
Rolling will uh, make the clock go at its normal pace, so you can use that as a speed up option, I guess. But you can't fight. Well, actually, what am I saying? This is awful. Rolling is awful. I thought it would do. The, I thought it would do the trick. This level. This is my favorite level in the game. I don't know why. I just love this. The chickens are hilarious. Their design. These guys meet each other. There they are. Stop toting your bomb, rooster. There we are. Damn it. Let's try it over again. I don't know why he doesn't just make the boosters drop their bombs. I mean, he's in charge of them in a way, isn't he? This mission makes no sense to me. Oh, the fact that there's bomb-toting roosters and I'm killing 50 chickens to get a, to help a big a ghost make a pot of gumbo for a key, I don't think that makes much sense either. Oh, come on. Just go away. Damn it! I really suck at doing this level. I'm sorry, guys. Go away, roosters. I'm trying to kill chickens for some reason. I wonder how ironic this looks like when you're not playing it. Right how ironic. How stupid this looks, like how he's just shaking his cane rapidly. I mean it looks really stupid playing it, but. <laughs> more sense that way. Oh, I killed them by the way. Am I the only one who forgot there was a ghost up there? That music, by the way, that music was hilarious. I don't know why it is. I just, I love the, like, that banjo. <laughs> this is silly. It's really silly. How many keys do I got? Not that button. Six. Next episode, we'll fight Ms. Ruby herself. And see you guys then, I guess.